So we're going to do a little Ask the Expert here, Jason Dudek, who uh, fishes on the uh, Bassmaster National Trails in the, in the Bassmaster Northern Opens. Um, kind of a smallmouth guy, I'd, you'd say you'd probably prefer to fish smallmouth if you had a choice. Smallmouths is the main thing with smallmouths is flats, whether it's five foot flats, 18 foot flats, 25 foot flats. You want, they're going to all be on, there's going to be a big, there's always going to be smallmouth on flats, whether like right, you could fish this in the summer, eight foot flat, we're fishing right now, and there's going to be some fish that are roaming on it. If they're not on the flat on the top, they're going to be just off the flat, whether, and this flat, particular flat has scattered rock, it's got sand, it's got a little rubble and that kind of thing, and an occasional weed, uh, weed clump, but you know, it's a giant flat, and you just got to cover water with these smallmouth. They're going to be, sometimes they'll be in wolf packs of five, ten, or you're just going to catch a random cruiser. So what sort of things are you throwing uh, when you when you find a flat like this? You've identified, you know, via your electronics or maps or whatever you're using, and you and you found the sort of structure with the gravel, the sand, maybe a mix of the two, some transitions. What do you what do you personally choose to throw to, to kind of search out that smallmouth? And then once you find them, do you change things? Do you slow down? Do you speed up? Do you cover water? I mean, what what sort of things do you do? I I keep it kind of simple with uh, the smallmouth. I got like for moving baits. If they're going on top water, it's a popper or uh, like a Sammy kind of a walk the dog bait, mm -hmm. um, spinner bait, and a jerk bait. As far as it's, I keep it simple with that, and then as far as slow moving baits, you got a drop shot, dragging a tube, anything like that, even a fluke. You know, twitched really slow, let it fall down, and you know stuff like that. I mean, if you keep it simple, and then you can expand from that. You know, you can try something different if if it's not going. But if you stay within that those lures you know you should be able to figure something out now for the people who use a site that are um, maybe doing some tournaments and things and they're getting on a smallmouth lake what sort of tactics do you like to use when you're fishing I know we've done quite a few team tournaments for smallmouth what are, what are some, some of the the tactics that you uh, that we've done in the past or you've done with other people in the past that have, have worked in terms of kind of approaching it from a two-prong perspective or having two anglers in the boat to kind of break down those those areas well if you're gonna fish team tournament you know it's like it's like on a we'll use this flat for example um throw the guy in the front or the back you know one guy is like to throw something different like in the front maybe he's throwing a jerk bait the guy in the back is throwing dragging a tube behind him and it's two different uh, you know two two different baits but if one is going strong then you obviously both of them fishing it but usually a two you change it up like that and it works pretty well you know one fish might be following it in and doesn't commit and but you're dragging a slow dragging of tube and, and they'll hit that hold on let me catch this fish with that i oh was it a, a dragon a tube <laughs> <laughs> i didn't have any room to set the hook but that was absolutely a fish I've, I've just been dragging a tube here while we're talking doing exactly what he's talking about and i just had a fish pick it up and it actually felt pretty good Again, Jason Homer with Bass Utopia. Uh, check us out at BassUtopia.com or join us on YouTube or any of our other various channels. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email us or, or comment on our Facebook page anytime. Thanks for joining us.